Good morning, folks. Today, eruptive potential begins to fade on our star as focus shifts back towards the coronal holes. We have a number of terrific articles to get to today as well, so let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. Watching the last 24 hours on our star here in 193 angstroms, you can see the eruptive potential departing not just the sunspots, but the plasma filaments as well, the dark ropes lifted up into the corona. You can see them all turning out. Solar wind here, we did get that intensification from the departing coronal hole stream as expected, but it was modest only and so we've just had a bit of instability in Earth's magnetic field. That is the coronal hole departing to the right responsible for that solar wind boost. The next one you can already see incoming top left. It's still a number of days away and we'll have seismic upticks before that. It turns out that Russia Another struggle when it comes to space. They lost the Meteor M satellite this morning. It was launched just a few hours ago, but their first attempt to make communication with the satellite failed as it was not in its planned orbit. Interesting animation from Goddard SVS here showing plasma injections into the magnetosphere and what happens after penetrating into the Earth system. Excellent reminder of the eastward drift of electrons, that's counterclockwise while positive ions move west. They say that this quiet day geospace analysis is more complex than all the satellites can fully diagnose together, even if they can get a glimpse, and they say solar storm days would be chaotic. Interesting article out about twin planets found around very different stars. Same mass, same orbital period, but one allowed them to determine that inflation of planetary atmospheres is based almost entirely on external intake of radiation. Up next, we have a galaxy in the shape of a Z. Pinch yourself, you are awake. They say hydrodynamical interactions with the surrounding medium made the shape. And by the way, that's charged material interactions with a plasma medium. Dark matter shall not rest in peace. The relentless onslaught debunking nearly every last nut and bolt of the Lambda paradigm now includes the first ever proper motion analysis of extragalactic stars. No chance it supports the dark matter halo theory. Lastly, folks, this is not a repeat of the November 16th hailstorm story. It's happened again. This time, it wasn't 10 injured in Zimbabwe, but 15 on top of two who died. Crops and houses decimated by the ice. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and involvement. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.